so I, I'm Charlie Schweik. Um, I'm a faculty at UMass Amherst, um, and we'll be talking about uh, my great colleagues in this uh, open science class that we're just we just finished we're finishing up tonight, I guess. Um, we're in finals week right now, or just getting into it. But um, uh, as Steve said, one, one of the things we're trying to do here is create um, a place where the whole Amherst community can can come together and make and make and build and work together. Um, so you're going to be hearing five college students in a minute, uh, but what we're also trying to do is make a, a, a rich connection to the school. So what Christine just showed you is our, our effort to try to do that, and we're trying to build more increasingly more programming um, uh, toward uh, making the connection between what's going on in the universities in town to all the way down to uh, kids in every level eventually. And so speaking of one of these kids, uh, this is Seth. And Seth, I'm going to let you introduce yourself and, and uh, tell them what grade you're in and what school you're in. And I'm going to get your stuff up as you're talking. Hi, um, I'm Seth. I'm in seventh grade, and I go to the Amherst Regional Middle School. And so I made an app for a contest. Um, last year called the first Lego League it, the theme was nature's fury so we in, um, we made a weather app hey guys how's it going it's Jade here with app maker tempest tracker mass is our app of the week for the 12th to 18th January 2014 tempest tracker mass is a mobile app created to secure your safety during an emergency it helps to guide you during natural disaster by giving you advice on what to do to prepare, stay safe, and recover from an emergency. Let's take a look at the app. It's got an organized look. The app provides users access to some of their most significant components like the Weather Channel, where users can check the latest weather updates, and the upcoming weather for the next three days. It also gives advice on how to stay safe in brutal winter weather. It also has important feeds such as flooded maps, alert feeds, and a Twitter-like feed for us to post more alerts. Last but not least, it has links to other sites and agencies for you to get even more info. The app also contains alert about the location and intensity of precipitation in your area, and also advanced storm tracking maps and weather for 10 cities in one click. The app also includes the current weather all over the globe. They've also included the Government Agency section where you can find the emergency government agencies such as the Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency, Federal Emergency Management Agency, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and Weather Ready Nation and their details. Overall, I think the Tempest Tracker Mass is a very useful app to guide you during natural disasters and emergencies. For more info about the Tempest Tracker Mass app that runs on the iPhone, Android, and HTML5 smartphones, click on the link to download the app. So, so go ahead. Um, here's our app. Um, it, do you want me to? Yeah. Where do you want me to go? Um, can you go on the Weather Channel, please? So. As it said before, it has links to, um, uh, can you show it on the TV? Thanks. Um, so it has connections to the Weather Channel, which is on right now, and it also has connections to, go back. yeah, thanks. It also has the Twitter feed. Um, an alert Twitter feed um, that actually gives you information on the weather and gives you alerts on if there was if there's going to be any disasters or any natural problems in your area. And then it also has as well um, another weather option which you can which shows you your town's weather forecast for the week. And it also has a few links. Um, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, known as FEMA, um, which has more helpful information about um, what to do in a disaster. but. We also have a few documents 
right below for how to make a survival kit in case of a hurricane or tornado, how to s survive, prepare, survive, and recover from a flood, tornado, and hurricane, and any flood maps near where, and any flood um, shelters near where you are, as well as a flood map. And last but not least, there's the uh, link to the American Red Cross Association, another helpful link, and that's just about it. Thank you. Nice job. To stay up here for a second and see if anyone has any questions for you, Seth. Um, well, I learned a lot myself about how to plan for hurricanes, tornadoes, and floods because it involved a lot of research. And I also learned a lot about simple programming because this was when I had first started to program. And I think it's really been helping me. What, what, uh, can you talk a little bit more about the programming you did? So earlier this year, me and my friend Ben, um, we made a presentation together. It was completely programmed, um, and it was interactive. So it would say your name if you typed it in. It would address you, and you could choose what you wanted to learn about in our presentation. And again, we didn't use PowerPoint or anything. We actually programmed it ourselves. It's just awesome. Well, thank you, Seth, for uh, doing this and coming and showing us what you're doing.